going to be a review on the clarinet reed trimmer cutter. I got it on Amazon and the company's name is B BQLZR. BQLZR. So on the box it says R-I-Y-I-N. This was shipped from China and the idea behind these is that it allows you to trim the edge of the reed when you play clarinet. Now, why would you want to do that? I, I don't really know. For me, personally, sometimes I'll be playing the clarinet and it just splits off at the end. And why go out and buy a new reed? They're not that expensive, but I thought maybe I'd get this thing and try it out. It's supposed to put a better edge on the on the reed and maybe I'll be able to save a couple reeds and save myself some money over the long run. Uh, does not come with any instructions or directions. So uh, I'm going to have to figure this thing out. And that's probably a good idea why I'm doing a review so that I'll be able to help others on how to use this thing. I know somehow you get the reed in there and then you put Obviously, it's going to go right in here somewhere, and then we'll be uh, maybe turning this thing, or who knows. I'll be back in a few minutes after I figure this out. If you like my videos, please thumbs up, subscribe, or like. If you have a product you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I will do that. If you want to donate to my channel page, ask for my PayPal info. So let me uh, check on this. Again, absolutely no instructions, and we will see how this thing works, and then how it works. As I said, it's unfortunate that there are no instructions with this, not even on the box. There's not even a picture of how to use this. So, it looks like you're supposed to put your reed in this area here. I'm going to try to zoom in as best as I can. Um, so that, that is nice that you line your reed up. The only problem is that there's so much play over here. So I know they're doing that to allow different widths of reeds, but clarinet reeds are pretty much the same width. So to have all of this uh, excess space in here, I don't understand that. And look down over there. You see the little gap over there? So when we turn this part clockwise, that means to the right for people that don't know what clockwise is. When we turn this to the right, you're going to see that gap disappears. And that, I guess, is going to be the cut. I guess it's going to work. I really don't know. I haven't used uh, this before. So what you really need to do is, you can see the back over there. So you're mostly on your own as far as lining this thing up. If you don't line it up right, you are not going to get a good trim. So over here, now if we look at this, we can see the width of the reed. I get it lined up over there. So this thing is a little bit, you're, you're going to have to center because if it's lined up on the right, see the reed over there? I'm going to slide it over even, okay, we're at the edge now. You got to slide it over even more for the left. So uh, you're going to have to do this by eye to know where to line this up. I believe I've got this lined up properly. It's still, it's really hard to know. I turn this to the right. Ah! This is not an easy product to use. I will tell you that right now. This is not expensive. And you get what you pay for, but this is, if it works, that's all that matters to me. But this is not an easy item to use. Okay, I'm going to do that again. I'm just going, maybe you're supposed to put, let's, well, let's line this up at the back. And let's see what happens now. I'm going to turn this. See, it's very difficult to hold this thing. I heard a snap. I heard something, so... It wasn't 100%, and that's probably because I didn't have it lined up all the way. So let's look at this now. So it didn't really do a good job. It did a nice job over there, but it didn't do a nice job on the side. Maybe because I didn't have it lined up, because they don't make it easy to line this thing up. So would I recommend a product like this? Um, wow. And it's just so hard to line up. And they, there's no reason for that. They could have made this so easy. 
to do. So I'm going to take this thing and turn it clockwise. And we'll try this one last time. It's, I'm right-handed, so for me, it makes this very difficult. Let's see. Let's look at the read. So we can see if, if I have it lined up properly, it should trim the whole read. And that's what I want to do. Let's move it up there closer again. I, I have magnifiers on just so I can see what I'm doing through the camera. Let's go one more time. Open that gap a little bit more. But you're really going blind with this thing. Not going blind, but you're doing this blindly. I guess that's what I wanted to say. Let's do it this way. Let's see if this works better. Okay, so I, I can't tell if I've got it if it's straight though because I just can't. Um, they make these things that cost uh, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars. This is about eight or nine. It looks like it's lined up now that it should cut evenly. Uh, I hope. Let's go clockwise again. So we're going to turn this to the right. I don't know if it's going to trim on that left side evenly. We heard a little pop. Okay, so I'm going to. Yeah, it didn't do it again. Or did it? It's kind of messed up over on that one edge where I screwed it up before. It's got a, a nice cut to it, so let's test it out now and see what happens. I'm not thrilled that I've got that little piece of reed piece over there that's messed up. But I've removed that, and let me try it out now. Okay, I've been sucking on my reed, so it's ready to put on here. I think I've got a really good reed on this one. But you can see how these things get chipped up. and So I'm not sure how much I'm going to use the cutter. It's not like reeds. They don't cost that much money in life. It's just money. So the important thing that I want to see now is how does this look? Okay, we, we can see over there where I messed up on my trim. That, But how does it look? As far as a good trim. Okay, is that? Let me just line it up this way. I'll put this thing on. We'll see how it looks. It, it appears to look fairly nice. And the whole thing is, if you, maybe if you can get another uh, couple days worth of play out of it, it might be worth it. Okay, so it's a neat. It's it's fairly good. I'm not. It's not that bad. I certainly wouldn't want to spend a couple hundred dollars on one of these things. Because that is, unless you're a pro, you just go out and buy a new reed. Okay, so I am, I've got the mouthpiece on now. Now, it would help if I had the mouthpiece in the right direction, right? Okay, so let me turn that around a little bit. And we're going to test this out now and see. At, from what I've read, this might change the sound a little bit. It might change the tuning. I'm not that great of a player, so to me, it really wouldn't matter. I just want to be able to play. So let's do a, a couple notes. Now, the reason it sounds so bad is because this is... I did a review on these. The Van, These are the Van Dorans, and they're much easier to play than the Ricos that I've got on here, the Rico that is like a 2-0. I just don't have the strength. But let me see if I can get some power out of this. Okay, so you're hearing a lot of noise, a lot of air, and that is not the reed cutter. That is the player, that's me, that does not know how to play well. And um, it might also be this little air gap over here. So let me try this one last time uh, and I'll give my honest review of this thing. Uh, I just say right now, I'm not thrilled that it's so difficult to use. It, they could have they come up with a way to, line, to make this line up really easy and they didn't. And that's unfortunate. So let me, and so you have to go playing games with, uh, with getting everything lined up, and there's just no reason for that. They, they could have made this a little easier. So I want to find the gap over there. I want to find the opening. Where's the opening? Okay, so now I see an opening. Um, 
instructions would have been very helpful. And so let's look again. If this is lined up properly, this should really do a good cut. And I'm really taking off a lot on this right now. So what I'm going to do, since I ruined the left corner with that notch over there, I'm going to push this all the way up and get this through there. And this is going to be a practical now. Can we save the read? Can we save the read after it's been screwed up and chewed up? Turn it clockwise. Did I save the read or did I make it worse? All right, so that's my review. Um, it is doing that consistently. Can I pull this off? Okay, if, I, if this works, then I'll be happy. The tip is okay. Let's compare it to the Van Doren, which is a... So the cut's not that bad. The trim is not that bad. Um, and then again, if you can save a couple reads out of this thing, that's the whole point. Uh, it's, it's a really nice cut. There's no doubt it's a really nice cut. The whole catch is you got to get it lined up. So let me put it on the clarinet, and I'm going to show you what it looks like now. Let's check that out. That is clean. That's a very clean cut. Fits the mouthpiece. For me, it's just the, uh, the, the getting the edges, and maybe the Rico is wider. I don't know. Let's see if it plays without a lot of air sound. Um, clarinets put together properly, mouthpiece. All right, let me press on the holes and try to get some air coming out of here. Mm. I can't even get any sound out of this now. I don't know if I cut it too much or I don't, I don't know. I should be able to get something out of here. Oh, boy. I cannot get any sound out of here. I'm struggling like this might be a, a 10 uh, read instead of a, a 2. Okay, so, um, uh, what can I say? This thing is, what did I pay for this? What did I pay for this thing? Um, 873 plus shipping and no I would uh, I would not recommend buying this that's uh, you saw the problems I ran into um, it does do a nice trim it's extremely hard to line up and I don't want to ruin another read but I just trimmed off two little pieces well three Okay, can we see over here? Can I get the camera over there? We got uh, that piece, and that piece, and this piece. And maybe I took off too much, but I can't get any sound at all out of this. Let me pop this thing, the read up a little higher. Um, I'm looking at the cut. It's, I'm, it's not that great uh, of a cut. It's, it does have the round trim, but around the edges, which I'm going to show you right now. So over there, the round is nice, but when you start getting over here around the edges, I don't know. Let me see if I can get a sound out of it one last time. Oh, boy. I can't even play this thing. So um, that is going to be my review of the... Uh, the BQLZR Clarinet Reed Trimmer Cutter. Um, whatever you want to do, I would... Uh, I'm going to see if I can return this. If I was you, I would look for... If, if it's really important to get a trimmer, I would spend more money and get something that gives you some way to line this thing up. Otherwise, you're just going blind with this whole thing. The trimmer part is very good. But you can't line it up, and I was not able to get nice enough uh, cuts on the edge. So at this point, I can't even play it. Uh, does that have to do with my playing ability or the read? A little bit, but I was able to play this beforehand. I can't even get a sound out of it now. Oh, boy. All right. Thanks for watching.
just to make sure I put on the Van Doren reed, which has the original cut, and I want to be able to get a sound out of this to show everybody that it does play and I can play a little bit. There you go.